Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've been seeing these beaded phone straps all over, all over Instagram, um, Pinterest, TikTok. You see influencers with it, even celebrities. So I thought, why not make, okay. So actually before, like a week ago, um, I was actually thinking of purchasing one, but then I saw the prices and I kid you not, they range from like 30 to 100. I was on this one website that's trending right now where a lot of people are buying them from and it was like 105 i think it's where addison ray buys hers i think and it was like around a hundred dollars and i'm like no absolutely not like yeah i i could purchase one like i have the money for it cap you do not have the money for it okay but but I just think it's a waste of money because they're literally just beads that you can buy off of Amazon for a way more affordable price. I'll have it linked below everywhere where I purchase the beads and stuff if you guys want to see how I make um, a beaded phone strap, then keep watching. Guys, before I start the video, I quickly want to show you my beautiful earrings. These are the Twisted Hoop earrings from Ana Luisa. I definitely recommend to go check them out, guys. They have beautiful, sustainable, and equal-friendly jewelry, so that's already a big plus. And also with Mother's Day right around the corner, I think this would be a perfect gift to gift your mother. And I have a discount code, so if you use that, you get money off. It's Megan Mota 10 I'll have it linked down below in case you forget. These are personally one of my favorite pieces. They're just, they're. it's not that they're subtle, but they're like, you know, they're not too big. I've never been a fan of like big earrings. I think these are the perfect size and they never turn green, guys. So that's already a huge plus. I've worn other jewelry, other earrings um, that turn green like after a few weeks and these don't. So that's already just amazing. So make sure to go check them out. I know you guys will love them as much as I do. They also sent me another pair. So I'll show you guys right here in the little clip right here. They're so beautiful. Those are another one of my favorites. And best believe I will be wearing these like every day so their pieces start at $39 and guys I have a discount code it's Megan Mota 10 you will get 10% off your purchase so I'll have that link down below in case you forget so make sure to go jump on this deal so yeah Okay guys, so I'm gonna use this case to kind of help me measure it. Um, before I make this, I wanna say that I'm gonna be making like a shorter one. I know a lot of people, they make them like really long, like probably like even up to here. Personally, I think those are really cute, but I'm gonna make mine slightly shorter because I want it to, ju to just kind of like fit into my hand perfectly and not have it be like all like long. So yeah, that's just my preference. Remember, you can make it as long as you want, as short as you want, it's really up to you. So basically, I'm gonna grab the yarn and mine is slightly thicker. I know a lot of people are using the 0.5 one, but I got mine slightly thicker just to make sure it's like more secure. And I wouldn't recommend using regular yarn because obviously that is more way thinner and it's just gonna break easier, so yeah. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and tie the knot first and I don't have a ruler, so I'm kind of just gonna wing it. So basically, sorry guys, I did a horrible job of explaining how to knot it, so I'm going to show you guys. Basically, you're going to fold the yarn in half, and you're going to want to remember to leave space, like a good amount of space, because obviously at the end, once you have all the beads in, you're going to need to put the beads through this hole to secure it onto your case. So honestly, I don't measure it, I just kind of eyeball it so um, i don't know i'm just gonna leave like this amount of space should be good so basically like i said just fold the yarn in half and then loop it through like this loop it i don't know how to explain it but i just loop it into like a little circle and then put this through grab the loop and then just make sure you secure it very good. And I know a lot of people do the knot, wait and do the knot until the end, but I would recommend to do it before, just to make sure you do it perfectly. But yeah, that's how much you should space you should leave in between. Okay, 
So now I turn it this way and I'm gonna start putting in the jewels. So I kind of wanted to match this case, but actually no, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and use all the colors. Just make it like funky. Okay guys, I switched locations because my mom's talking on the phone in the living room, but basically once you make it to the length of your liking, I made it to the length of my wrist, you're going to go ahead and tie it like this. I just want to make sure that all the charms are placed nicely because once you tie the knot, there's no going back, unfortunately. But you don't want to you don't want to make it too tight the knot but you don't want to make it too loose because then the charms are going to be like loose but i'm going to go ahead and just do two knots because i feel like three is just a little too much but with two it should be secure okay so now you're just going to go ahead and grab your scissors and you're going to cut off the excess Oop the excess yarn okay and just because i don't really like how this knot looks i'm gonna go ahead and grab a lighter and light it um but if you're under the age of 18 make sure you have a parent do this for you i am 19 so i'm gonna go ahead and do it myself you just want to be very careful when you're doing this to not burn yourself and not get the charms just get the the yarn so just like that and then just let it burn by itself. It's all done. Oh my gosh. I am literally obsessed. And I don't know, I was going more for like a funky 70s theme. So as you can tell, like literally none of them match. I wanted to make all of them just look different. So now I'm gonna show you how to put it on your case. This is why we need to leave this slightly longer. So basically right here, where you know your silent switch is you're gonna go ahead and put this through here oh i want you guys to be able to see so basically just put it through like this and then grab the other end and then you're gonna open it like that and then grab this and then just put it through the little hole that. It's very 20 minutes later. Simple and easy. Oh, <laughs> it's easy and I'm over here struggling. No, but it actually is very easy. Just struggling because I have nails. And then basically just go like that. And there you have your little beaded charm. And guys, I am so freaking obsessed with this like ah! obviously i won't be using it with this case i actually ordered like one of those trendy cases um so yeah i'm gonna put that on that case once it arrives and i'll probably take pictures with it but yeah that's basically the end of this video guys i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see me make more of these beaded charms, then let me know down below in the comment section. And I'll be doing other ones. Also, I ordered the smiley face charms. So, you know, I could do another beaded phone strap with the smiley faces. And I don't know, just completely different. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And turn on post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. And before I close this video off, I just want to shout out Annalisa again. Thank you so much for gifting me these amazing earrings. 
Their website's gonna be linked down below. Make sure to go check them out. They have affordable, sustainable, and equal friendly jewelry. And their prices range from 39 and up. So there's a lot of affordable pieces and they don't only have earrings. They obviously have like the trendy necklace sets and it's just really affordable and nice. So I'll have all their information linked down below. Make sure to go check them out. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.